And congratulations, another dramatic day in Dingwall. We, we left it late. How are your emotions after that one? Yeah, no, relatively calm. I, I thought we played really well today. You know, it's a difficult place to come. We know that. And, um, you know, it's uh, particularly it was windy today and, and they're a big physical team. But, you know, really proud of the players that we stuck to our task. And, you know, I thought we, we dominated the game in just about every aspect. You know, they go up once from a corner and score. But, again... You just have to see our reaction to know that um, you know, that spirit that we had last year is still well within this group. Once again, we show that never say die attitude. The second goal comes from a corner, but even in those last moments of the match when it's one each, we continue to play the football. Yeah, absolutely. And even at 2 1, you know, we went and got, got ourselves a third because that's the kind of team we want to be. And, uh, you know, we want to make sure that, um, you know, we don't let sort of things during a game affect what we believe in. And, um, you know, it gets tested at a place like this. A lot of teams, you know, will come here and, and, and drop points for sure. Um, so it's to have that belief within us, um, even in a difficult days, uh, credit to the players. Do these types of games really show what this team can do and what they can achieve when they have to go through those difficult moments? Yeah, I think they showed it in abundance last year. And, and you know, we want to improve our football, absolutely. But... Yeah, we still have to have that resilience and that and that belief in ourselves that, that you know, irrespective of the challenge in, in front of us, we can overcome it. And uh, we had to show that, you know, quite a great, you know, great deal last year. This year, we want to improve our football, but we don't want to lose that, you know. And it's still a very important part of who we are. It was a debut for Marit Shenz. He topped it off in the best possible fashion with that header at the end. In terms of his overall game, how do you think he got on? And to get that goal in the end must be brilliant for him. Yeah, great, great way to start his uh, you know Celtic career. And I thought he was really good. You know, it was a, it was a, a difficult, a challenging game, not a difficult game for our centre backs. So <coughs> didn't have a lot to do in terms of defending, but had to carry the ball a lot. And you know, I thought he showed some real composure. Um, and you know, look, we've been really pleased with ever since he's come in. Uh, and started training with the boys, he's fit in really well and um, you know, I was comfortable giving him the opportunity today and I thought he, uh, you know, he, he did himself well, proud. And we've got a, a long week now before we then go into our next fixture away to Kilmarnock as well. This week, is that good for the boys to, to, to sort of deload the legs after such a difficult game? No, it's not about deloading, it's, it's an opportunity again for us to, to put some work into both, you know, the boys who haven't played today and, and who are out of squad because we're going to need everyone. Um, you know, you saw today the, the impact that guys like Abada and and Jacko and 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 Aaron coming on. Um, you know, we're going to need these guys. Maritz had to step in today, um, so that's going to happen. So we're just going to make sure we keep working hard through this early period. We don't have midweek games, so that when they come along, we've got a, you know a full fit and firing squad.